Oh, sorry. I was looking at the new tiny home. I was looking at the new tiny homes. Yeah, this is the future. The tiny homes are the future. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Listen, this is from MarketWatch.com. Oh, I always just get a kick out of the new tiny, the new tiny homes, which are sheds. Like, uh, just, I'm just still on that. This is from MarketWatch.com. U.S. home sales fell in September to the lowest level since the Great Recession. You don't say. You don't say, you know, I mean, I mean, it wouldn't have anything to do with mortgage rates going to almost 8%. It wouldn't have anything to do with uh, wage growth slowing down to a crawl. It wouldn't have anything to do with that. No, why would it have something to do with that? No, numbers. Let's start here with the numbers. Home sales fell in September to lowest level since 2010 as high mortgage rates. What did I just say? I told, I know my, I know my stuff. High mortgage rates continue to hammer the housing market. You don't say. I know I'm saying you don't say too much, but it's kind of my kind of my go to phrase right now. Aside from low inventory, I wonder why it's low. Oh, wait a minute. Let's put to the side all the companies buying up the houses and turning into turning the single homes, single family homes into rental properties. Why would anybody who's locked in at two to three percent, four percent, whatever it is, at these low percentages, why would they sell? And here's a question. If they did sell, what would they be selling into? Because I don't know about you. I wouldn't be selling into a higher percentage mortgage. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm not going to go for a worse deal. So if you're locked in, what do you say? If you're locked in at a low percentage mortgage, um, pretty much everybody else is out of luck. But it says here. As aside from low inventory, rising rates are eroding buyers' purchasing power and drying up demand. See, I'm I'm doing it with a smile on my face like the government does. I'm doing it with a smile on my face like the companies does. Now, if you would kindly hand over your wallet, this is what they do, right? This is what they do. Hand over your money with a smile. They're going to rob you with a smile. It says sales of previously owned homes fell by 2%. I wonder why. It's a mystery. It's a big mystery. Fell by 2% to an annual rate of 3.96 million in September. The National Association of Realtors said Thursday. That's the number of homes that would be sold over an entire year. Oh, man. I'll wipe my tears. If sales took place at the same rate every month as they did in September, the numbers are seasonally adjusted. The drop in sales was slightly better than what Wall Street was expecting. Oh, let's go by what Wall Street is expecting because they're so good. Key details, the median price for an existing home in September rose for the third month in a row. Oh, it's, it's going up. Other the people don't have money, but it's going up. Okay, that's real wise of you. That's real smart. You want to make sales and the people, look at my finger wagging, and the people don't have money. You want to pump your price up. Pump, pump, pump it up prices are 2.8 percent from a year ago that was the highest price for the month of september since nar began tracking data home prices peaked in june 2022 when the median price of resale home hit four hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars now see i was telling somebody the other day that those were the average prices that i was that i remember researching and coming across you know because there were other numbers that are a little bit lower here like okay yeah so you see this number here three hundred ninety four thousand three hundred dollars uh for September, this is the number they're trying to go with out here. But it's like, wait a minute, there's still a lot of elevated prices. I know the discrepancy is not that big, but uh, I, sometimes I like to be semantical like that. It says around 26% of properties are being sold above price list. The total number of homes for sale in September fell by 8.1%. Big picture. Let's get to the big picture. The U.S. housing market is in the midst of a serious slowdown that is primarily driven by high mortgage rates. This is what I said, bud. High rates spook home buyers drying up demand and high rates also deter homeowners. Let's see if they tell the truth. It deters homeowners from selling since they have to purchase another home for a homeowner with a three percent. I just said this. I'm on fire. I know what I'm talking about for a homeowner with a 3% mortgage rate for the next few decades. There's little incentive to move. Yep. Kind of painted yourselves into a corner there, didn't you? 
Yep, he kind of did. And not the not the home sellers, markets, and the residential sector is likely to see sales fall further in October's data as the 30-year mortgage inches even higher. Oh boy, <laughs> can't wait for that. It's such a a Fed. Come here, Fed. Oh, you're so, you're so good at, at fixing everything, and you know, tell, I mean, when you said, it, you know, Fed. Fed Chair Powell and everyone, when you said everything was a okay, everything fine, um, we definitely believed you. Like we believe you more than anyone, right? Um, demand for mortgages has collapsed, and some outlets like Mortgage News Daily are quoting a rate of eight percent for the thirty year. But everything's okay, folks. Don't worry about it. They got it under control. Under control. You got those gasoline pants ready? It's going to get a little hot in here. Going to get a little hot in here. This article here is from realmoney.thestreet.com. It's titled, Markets Marred by Instability as Treasuries Not Seen as Safe Havens. Oh, well, I think they're pressing them a little bit and it, I think it worked because they, they always there's always a massive sell off. And then there's a massive sell off. And then, the you know, they want people to come back to treasuries. So they up the yield a little bit more. Right. And then it's just a matter of is that yield delicious enough for people to come back to treasuries? So you've seen all this volatility going on is what happens. For just what I've seen it says money would in normal times be flowing now into the safety of government bonds. I love that, that I love hearing safety and government in the same sentence. Oh boy, I get the chills going because I know it's not real. When I think safety, I think gold, I think silver, I think cash or something, something in my control. Safety is brought on by the self, not external entities, all right? Remember your parents used to teach you stranger danger? Remember that home? Shh, little Timmy, don't talk to strangers. Eh, you don't trust strangers with your capital either. Nah, just the way that I do things, I suppose. It says, but just the opposite is occurring and bonds are now hitting multi-year lows. Here's what that means for stocks. Well, we know what it means. <laughs> we know what it means. So now that we have that information, everyone, We'll do a little bit more of a thorough video uh, the next day. Did you hear about all this BRICS information, dollar dumping going on? I mean, there's so many, uh, so many insane things going on right now. We're just trying to keep up with them all. So now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. So until next time, folks, let's get to the money.